Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world again calls God. His name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai. That, of course, is their proper names in the ancient Hebrew, in the Lashawan Kodash, which is the Holy Tongue. Bahashem, of course, uh, is in the name, and of course, the Holy Spirit, okay? <clears throat> so, giving all praises to the Most High and the Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who go well. And peace and salutations to all the sincere Akim that's out here doing the work of the Most High and His Son, waking up the people, the elect, all right, of the nation of Israel, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which you have, of course, also um, the confusion of face, which are also Israelites that look like the nations in which the Most High has scattered us. Part of, of course, of a, a curse, and they look like the rest of the heathen, but they are in fact Israelites coming back to to a holy seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. Um, the brother Mafa from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp coming again with this truth. Okay, so this is I'm gonna try to make this very quick. Uh, early in the morning right now here in Great Babylon, so. I'm going to do this. This is off of the Daily Record UK. Um, it says Amazon drivers can't have lunch and pee in bottles as they are forced to deliver up to 240 parcels a day and led up to Christmas. All right. So when you get, get into this, um, you have, of course, uh, when you work for Amazon Flex. Um, you have a, uh, a target you must hit, okay, of, uh, parcels you have to deliver, um, per day, and, um, if you don't hit this, uh, target, you are, of course, uh, at, a risk of losing your job, okay, employment, and when you get into, of course, the Amazon Flex, it's, uh, um, a way for, uh, people to independently, make money uh by delivering parcels for amazon okay um it's kind of like uber in a sense but you're delivering the parcels on your own okay so uh i'm gonna go into it so it says uh yeah they ha they can't have lunch right because of course they have this target they have to of course accomplish okay um it says, um, uh, they pee in bottles, all right, which, uh, you know, enable, being able to, of course, get done all of these, um, deliveries and such, it, there's not going to be a, any possible way you're going to be able to do that and, of course, uh, make time for you to go to use the bathroom while doing this, uh, job, okay, um, I have, of course, had a, a woman, uh, you know, woman who I actually uh, gave a bill of divorce uh, out there in Scotland. She um, ended up, uh, you know, receiving a suspension uh, deactivation, which was a it was actually a false uh, um, a error. I told her, and I'm gonna going down into that too. Um, it was claiming that, of course, she wasn't um, you know meeting her requirements, but. Um, now, there's certain way, r reasons why, of course, uh, all the packages or parcels cannot be, of course, delivered. Okay, there's different variables that, you know, factor into that. So, let's go down into this article some more. And, you know, Christmas, of course, is a, um, a pagan holiday in which, um, you know, the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, in which also a lot of you in the UK are Israelites as well, especially in Scotland. Um, you you are actually Israelites, all right. You go back to a holy speed and such, all right. King James himself 
was a so-called black man, and you go down into it, you know, it's just that there was a iconoclasm that happened, which there were a white watch, watch, washing of the images, all right, of the dark images, you know, and, uh, you know, also the history was switched around, so if you go, of course, in the history, you'll learn that King James was actually so-called uh, black man or man of color, all right, dark skin, because there's no man that actually is black, all right, there are various shades of brown, all right, and the so-called white man, which is the devil who is in rulership, all right, you know, Esau, Edom, they're, they're, they're descendant, there's, you know, the, the, the so-called white man, his descendants, all right, go back to Edom, all right, Esau, Edom, all right, and that makes them the Edomites, and they're the wicked, okay, and the earth is given onto the hand of the wicked, when you read that, of course, in Job the, um, 9 and 24, where earth is given to the hand of the wicked, and they covered the judges thereof, all right, you know, so, of course, the judge, the chief judge, of course, they covered was uh, uh, what they ignorantly called Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, okay? And so, you know, which they say he's a so-called, uh, basically a so-called white man, which that's a curse of leprosy, all right? And he, he and they, the Bible clearly gives what the Lord looks like, of course. And, uh, you know, Revelation is the first chapter. Uh, I believe also in the book of Daniel, I believe in the 10th chapter, but you know, I'm not going to go into that right now, um, but a lot of you, of course, you squats, you go back, which your squat means uh, black, all right, go back to the word squatty, which means black, all right, so anyway, to go back on to the subject, um, back to the Amazon, um, let me see, where I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, Christmas, right? So the, the thing with Christmas is, is, you know, you shouldn't, of course, participate in it. The Israelites, of course, were given the law. And uh, that, the Israelites are Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And since, of course, we were scattered, we have Israelites that look like the other nations. They just uh, are in a Gentile state of mind. Or they're foreign from, of course, their customs, right? So they're doing as the heathen do. All right, so this is Jeremiah 10 and 1. It says, Hear ye the word which it says the Lord, but in the, in the Hebrew, when you go back into it, it's Yahweh. Okay, when you read in the Lashwan Kodash, that's of course what they call the Phoenician Hebrew, right? Being, of course, uh, uh, you know, we of course took the land of Canaan, all right, from the Hamites, where are Africans, Ham in the Hebrew. And, um, you know, we have, uh, the, the, the Lashwan Kodash. Now, this is a Syrian script. And you have, of course, the name of the Most High. It's Yahweh, all right? It's not Yiddish, all right? Like, Yehovah, that's not the name. There's no V in the Lashwan Kodash, all right? If you don't understand, look up Lashwan Kodash, and you'll see it. The Phoenician Hebrew, you'll see the alphabet, and you'll see that. But anyway, to go on, all right, the Lord is speaking, of course, unto the Israelites. Yahweh is speaking unto the Israelites, who he only deals with the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, all right? It says, um, here, ye the word which the Lord, Yahweh, speaking unto you, O house of Israel. That's the Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. Also, of course, you confusing the face, which you are Israelites, so you are part of this. But, of course, you went astray from, of course, your nationality. All right, being in the, we had the diaspora, we were scattered. All right, so it says, verse 2 Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, all right, of all these other nations outside of the, the nation of Israel, right? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. And there have been, of course, many, of course, signs in the heavens, all right, which, uh, like you see, so called UFOs, which are chariots of Israel, all right. You have, of course, um, uh, um, signs such as like these lunar eclipses, solar eclipses, you know, uh, all types of things that, of course, happen in the firmament of the, the Shemayim or the heavens, all right? And what you see, um, you know, these signs are the sign of the downfall of America and this wicked civilization, all right? This wicked, um, this wicked, uh, you would say, uh, 
this wicked system, all right, that so-called white man, Esau, Edom, is, of course, ruling over, all right? Jeremiah 10 and 3, it says, For the customs of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of his hands of a workman with an axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. All right. And of course, talking about that Christmas tree. All right. So vain meaning worthless. All right. This is worship. Worthless. The way the heathen is worthless. All right. So you, of course, shouldn't be, of course, participating in it. Right. Because it's an idol when you go into it. The Christmas tree is an idol. All right. You're getting, of course, into Nimrod worship. All right. Um, you know, uh. It's pagan, all right? So, you know, do your research on actual, uh, you know, Christmas and its actual origins. Go back to paganism, all right? Babylon, Babylonian, you know, and all of that, all right? Worship of idols of which the Israelites are, are forbidden to do, okay? Jeremiah 10 and 5. They are upright as a palm tree, but speak not. They must needs, to, needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also it is in them to do, do, do good, right? Which these uh, trees, right, you know, they can't do anything. They can't. They're just nothing but idols, okay? And you're, you're worshiping it, okay? So, you know, that's uh, basically uh, it. Exodus 20. Let me see. I'm going to try to get it. Saying is being bad. One second. And quickly go to Exodus 20. All right. <laughs> Exodus 20 and 3. It says, Thou shalt have no gods before me. All right, thou shalt not make any make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven, or that is in earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow themselves to them. All right, all right. So it's not, of course, nothing wrong with, of course, having images, but you, of course, not supposed to worship them, meaning bowing yourself down to them. Okay, nor serve them. All right, for I am the Lord Yahweh, thy power. All right, the the Hebrew word for uh, God, right here is Allah. All right, which means power. All right, I am a jealous power, a right, jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Which of course you come back at a reincarnation, every uh, third and fourth generation. All right. Um. Another scripture is, uh, let me see, God's. I think it's in Psalms, the 96th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is Psalms 96 and 5. This is, this is, this is, I mean, kind of off, but off, 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 uh, topic, but I mean, it's on topic. I mean, it has to be. The spirit is on there. So, um, I'm going to just start here, 96 and 3, Psalms, 96 and 3, declare his glory among the heathen, his his wonders among all people, for Yahweh is great, and which Yahweh means I am, or, uh, uh, it means, uh, he is, or, uh, he exists, right? Sakya, all right? He is, or he exists, right? For, uh, the Lord, Yahweh is great, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. All right, so the the the, 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 the all the different gods of the heathen, they're not but idols. All right, you know they're 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 made up. All right, they're fake. Okay, they don't have uh, any power. Okay, when you get down into it. All right, it says here idols, nothing good for nothing, worthless. Right, false gods. All right. Simple as that. Hebrew word is Allah. Yah. Yal. Uh, uh, it says Allah Yal in the Hebrew. In the Lashwan Kodash. Alright. Not in the Yiddish. Alright. So. Um, 
uh, we're going to go back to the article now. Just to break down, of course, a little bit about the Christmas, uh, you know. Envy says, of course, in the scriptures, envy not the oppression and choose not his ways. Roughly paraphrases. So we, of course, are not supposed to participate in Christmas. So, you know, delivering, you know, we're doing all this stuff in vain because it's a vain holiday itself. All right. So anyway, it says Amazon drivers are being delivered up to 240 parcels a day in the run up to Christmas. Many cut corners by leaving items in sheds and bins, seeing it is the only way to meet impossible targets all right because of course you know they want you of course to leave these items with a actual resident or someone um you know a a uh, a neighbor you know to secure um the the package so of course is not prone to threat theft all right it says and it claim a hundred could be left jobless by january Right, which is currently December the 26th right now. This article was published on uh, December the 21st. All right. Go back into it. With poor performance use as an excuse to shed excess staff after the festival season. All right. So because, of course, they hire um, temporary work. Or I would say, like, yeah, you have a lot of workers um, to, of course, um, handle the bulk of uh, all of the packages, the influx of cat packages that are coming, of course, having parcels from Amazon that have to be delivered, okay, during this time, okay, it's a mass uh, number, okay, of parcels to be delivered per day, you have, of course, all this online shopping that's going on, how they're going to be delivered, you know, that's why Amazon Flex, you know, exists, you know, Amazon is, you know, they need, of course, uh, independent uh contractors to deliver their packages and such all right they outsource all right a lot of things okay okay so here is the itinerary on the app right it says stops right successful problems to do 176 packages to, uh, to deliver or drop off 224 right so it says tv viewers have been uh, bombarded and recently with amazon's christmas advert I mean advertisement Featuring smiling delivery boxes set to a version uh, of Super Tramp's hit, Give It a Little Bit. And it says, but the 160 driver, there's package, it's like a driver's delivering Christmas presents from the online giant's depot near Birthgate, uh, at West Lothian, all right, can um, face the sack for failing to hand them straight to customers which i have of course uh mentioned all right in uh prior in this uh my speech it says an insider said some drivers leave home at 7 a.m for an 8 a.m start at the depot and are still on the on the road at 10 p.m okay so you know those that imagine that that all right, get to the depot at 8 a.m., 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, that's what, 14 hours or so? All right, you doing? All right, just to accomplish this, to keep a job. All right, you know, just to make some money because of, you know, the economy, you know, especially in Scotland and a lot of these places um, have has, has completely tanked because, of course, you know, this, this place is funneling down the drain. All right. Uh, elite are uh you know they 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 they're they're losing their power the Esau Edom is the so called white man all right is losing his power okay it says and it's a alleged Amazon management threatened to cut their pay if they fail to complete delivery routes all right and it says a whistleblower who works with a third party delivery firm contacted Birthgate condemned Amazon ruthless pr approach which has left driver, drivers frazzled by long hours and even crashing crashing vans as they desperately try to finish their rounds, all right? So, of course, you know, of course, trying to tr try to attempt to complete the target, right? Over 200 such uh, packages, parcels, they, they, of course, crash, all right, as a... As a um, you know, being, of course, in a, in, a, in a confused state, being frantic, all right, and that's just going to happen, 
All right. The inside said 11 firms currently carry out deliveries from Birthgate. It says serv servicing areas include Edinburgh, Lothlin, Sterling, and Falkirk. All right. They hire drivers as self-employed workers who receive no sick pay or pay holidays. So, of course, you know, liability is all on them. All right. Which, uh, as I was saying, my so-called woman in the world who, whom, uh, you know, I, of course, departed from, gave her the divorce because she's r ridiculous. She's insane. All right. Uh, she, uh, she, of course, had to, you know, do these things, work in these uh, adverse uh, con conditions. All right. Uh, of course, putting all the mileage on her on her car, on your car and such, all right, and that's not going to be covered by Amazon. You're going to be completely responsible for maintaining the maintenance of your car, right? But the firms received their orders from Amazon, okay? It says the the U.S. multinational company were founded by Jeff ben Benzos, the world's richest person with a seventy five billion fortune. Right, and make seven. Uh, uh, this is a pound, seventy-five uh, billion pounds serve sterling, right? Uh, and make uh seven point three pounds sterling billion billion a year in the UK alone. All right, so he's rotten rich, man. This dude's a fucking. He's 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 rolling in it, right? So. I'm gonna go into it. So this is this is something. Um, I, they also do this too. Um, they deactivate uh like uh drivers out of nowhere, right? They'll send it through the app, all right. Which you, if you work for Amazon Flex, you, they have an app, and of course you you put in input uh what days you're available, and then it, it's you know you can go and check on it and see you know what offers they I offer you to work on, all right. So. And it's all performance based, you know, if you're not uh, performing or delivering, um, you know, the target, you know, they can, of course, sack you or can you, as they are saying, uh, or basically fire you, all right, or get rid of you or suspend you, deactivate you, right? Because you, of course, sign a contract with them, all right? So it says, uh, this is right here off of rideshare dashboard.com. Uh, it says, can, can deactivated Amazon Flex drivers be reactivated? This is one of their ways, of course, uh, you know, um, punishing uh, drivers. Try to get them, of course, uh, you know, uh, to, 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 to deliver all their parcels, right? To up their performance, right? This is one of their scare tactics. All right. So it says in my last post about the different ways uh, Amazon Flex drivers can be uh, deactivated, I spoke about two different types of Amazon Flex deactivation, temporary and permanent, right? There are certain reasons that you will get you uh, temporary deactivated and others that will get you permanently deactivated. Below is the list. All right. It says temporary deactivation. It says not having hot or cold bags for restaurant pickup or delivery, excessive late deliveries, deliveries that the customer does not receive. Right. Which we have covered. Right. They want you, of course, to give it to a actual resident. All right. In hand because it leaves, of course, possibility of it being uh you know, stolen theft, right? Or any type of damage, anything. It says undeliverable packages, deliveries are not returned to Amazon in a timely fashion. You know, at the end of the day, you have to, of course, uh, go back to the depot and uh, return the parcels. But they don't, you know, that you can't deliver. But they, you know, they kind of look at you like, oh, you couldn't deliver these. Why? You know, they leave all of that responsibility on you. You know, you, of course, having to go up flights of stairs and all of that. And uh, all go to different farms and all of that. Uh, of course, uh, you know, sits here in Scotland and such. Um, you know, wherever wherever you have to deliver, all right. You know, it's a, it's a tough job, you know, for the pay, you know. But you know, a lot of of course uh, Scots, they of course take this job, and a lot of folks in general because it's a uh, you know you can choose when you want to work, all right. It's flexible, all right. It says performing other jobs during Amazon Flex. All right, so they don't want you, of course, to do Uber Eats and Postmate. These are different, uh, you know, say, um, uh, these, I, I call them cyber jobs. I forget the term, but, you know, you can, you can make extra money, you know, delivering food for different restaurants and such, and, uh, and such, uh, 
parcels, I believe, to Postmates. I got to go back into it, but it says you uh, using the I'm at the gen location, but my GPS isn't working too often as a start in the block as starting the block. Right. Permanent missing blocks or shifts. Right. So because you say you're going to take a shift, you can permanently be de deactivated from the app. Right. It says missing blocks or shifts and being late for a block or shift. Right. And like they, they'll send you the uh, email. Right. They say about, you know, uh, this is an error they be sending because I mean, I remember like uh, also they rate you and such. And yeah, of course, you can be, um, you know, they going to rate you and they can. You know, they can have an error where, like, like, like my, my, my so-called woman did. She received an error saying that, you know, she's deactivated. But I was like, you know, you, you do, of course, uh, accomplish your routes, you know, to the best you can. All right. And, you know, the, at the variables that prevent you from delivering a parcel, um, which uh, most cases are, uh, you know, there ain't nobody there that's, of course, accept a parcel, um, you know. The, the, those are those are common that's just that's just normal okay so i mean you could go into it you know but um you know the, the fucking devil all right is wicked all right so-called white man rules all of this you know, all right because it's a edomite that of course uh or, uh, of course uh is the owner of amazon all right so uh Let's get into some scriptures, uh, a couple scriptures, and then just close it off. I'm going to go to, um, I believe, Haggai, the book of Haggai, the first chapter and the sixth verse. All right. Uh, we'll go to it real quick. Where is it at? Haggai. Let me see. I'm going to just try to type it in real quick. One. Right, it's Haggai 1 and 6. It says, Ye have sown much. And bring in little. All right. So, of course, you so much. You put in so much. All right. These jobs. But you bring in so much little. Because when you go into in the wages, you know, you're going to see what it's going to say. The scripture says, it says, ye eat, but ye have not enough. All right. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes all right in which you know the israelites you know they are working these uh jobs and such and being taxed to death all right you know um and they can't even um really make it here and such all right in this whole system all right a system is actually against you all right you know you're serving payments because you're in slavery when you go into it you're under the curses that were written in the bible all right because we broke the law of statute commandments, we Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, in which a lot of the Scots are Israelites going back into the lineage, all right, because we were scattered there. We ruled, of course, uh, you know, uh, Scotland, right? Um, ruled a lot of, the, of course, uh, Europe um, for a thousand year period, which is actually in the Bible, of course, as well. Um, the Revelation, I believe, the 20th chapter. Uh, and uh, you know it's all over. It's 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 here, all right. So um, just to quickly um, I'm gonna go into some more precepts real quick, and uh, and then I'm gonna just close it off because I don't want to make this uh any longer. All right, I don't want to tarry much. So um, I'm gonna go to now Leviticus the nineteen chapter, right? This is Leviticus 19. Alright. And, uh, uh, this is, uh, it's another supporting. Some um, Leviticus 19 and 9. And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corners of thy field. Neither shalt thou gather the gleanings of thy harvest, all right? Which, you know, currently, I mean, you know, the land is, of course, being, of course, uh, controlled by the, the wicked, the so-called white man, right? 
the Edomites, okay, they, you know, that's their biblical nationality because they, of course, came out red. You go back to the Esau and Jacob, you know, uh, account in uh, Genesis 25, fifth chapter, you clearly see where Esau came from, all right? But uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm not going to go into it too much, all right, gleaning, all right, I want to go into this word. The etamon, real quick. So, of course, you know, we're under these curses, all right? Israelites, all right? And that's, of course, you know, a chosen seed, all right? All right, it says glean. To, it says glean the literal one of gather grain left by the, the reaper. Right? Which, uh, you know, when of course you plant, you of course you sow, and you of course you take up, you know, what you have sown and get the harvest. So you reap it, what you sow. So, you know. But because we under these curses. <clears throat> No, we, 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 all our stuff is taken away from us and such, all right? You know, we working for a system that is against us, all right? And that's because we broke the law of statute and commandments, all right? So, I'm going to go to, uh, Leviticus the 13th, 19 and 13, all right? It says, thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. All right, which your neighbor is obviously, uh, these are law, statutes, commandments, which is your neighbor is your brother, your fellow kinsman. All right, but you have the so-called white man who, of course, says that he abides by the Bible. And he's a so-called Christian, all right? Yeah, the Christian being anointed one, right? Which should only be the Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. All right, if you go back to an Israelite seed, and you look like a heathen, you are Israelite. All right, it's a by spirit. All right, we spirit bear our spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Read us in Romans. <clears throat> All right, it says neither rob him the wages of him that is hired. Okay, shall not ab abide with thee all night until the morning. Alright, so it says, I'm going to read it back again. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. So, of course, you know, every day you're, of course, supposed to work and receive your payment by the end of the day. Alright, we, of course, have to wait to be paid, okay? I'm not sure how, I forget how Amazon Flex works, um... If you can cash out then and there, right there, but, I mean, you know, they're not doing things by what the Bible says, but so many say, you know, they live by this book, all right? Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? You know, the confusion of face, all right? Supposed to, of course, uh, they are, we are under these laws, all right? And, of course, since we're being oppressed, you know, we're being, you know, the earth is given on the hand of the wicked, right? The wicked are ruling, you know, unrighteously, all right? So, of course, there's going to be a, a judgment for them. But, you know, um, you know that that's basically it on this. Uh, I might go into a, a uh, um, quick precept. Uh, this is uh, Psalms. Seventy five chapter, all right. And this I'll start at the sixth verse, right? It says For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west, nor from the south. For prom, uh says but the most high says God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Okay? So, Lord, you know, he has, of course, um, you know, 
he has uh you know the he's the one who gives the of course the increase he's the one who gives the wicked what they have all right which is the the elite the edomites all right so-called white men they of course have control of the whole earth which he gave unto them right it says for that for in the hand of the lord yahweh there is a cup and the wine is red and is full of mixture and he poured out the same but the dregs thereof all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them all right you know so you know that cup you know that could we have slavery they're of course going to have to serve slavery because of course he that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity that of course is uh, revelation is the 13th chapter around a 9 and 10th verse he that have an ear let him hear all right the, the so-called white man right the edomites have of course put the lord's chosen people into slavery in which most of you scots are all right you're israelites all right and a lot of you in the uk are you know so you know um soon of course there'll be a a, a recompense a payback for all that you have been going through all right having to work these bullshit jobs these shit jobs are shite as you would say all right All right, so I'm ended off right there. Uh I say call halal yim la yahaw ba shim yaw shai ba hashim rakha kodash. All right, all praises to the most high and his son Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, the world and he calls Jesus Christ Yahweh and the most high, right? So his name is Yahweh, his name he is, he exists, and Yahweh Shai means he the deliverer. All right. Is of course he's gonna deliver his people, which are the Israelites. All right, not the entire uh, inhabitants of the earth. He's gonna deliver only his people. His people are the Israelites. The Lord Himself was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. All right, he's a dark-skinned man, and he's gonna deliver his nation. Which this isn't color. The Lord doesn't look at just color. All right, so a lot of you Scots, a lot, a lot of you in the UK and such, you are Israelites. All right. Yes, uh, you know, you may look like heathen, but uh, you know, I'll go into that in another lesson. All right, so uh, I'm gonna say uh, double honor to the elders and apostles, that great millstone who rule well, peace and salutation to all sincere Akim that rightly doing, abiding the word of truth, doing this work. Shalom.